if you can master one trading setup, you can make a living. Let's go deeper. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. Yes, if you can just master one trading setup, you can make a living, okay? So we've been doing the sweet spot trade, right? We wait for a nice, we find a nice trend. We put a Fibonacci retracement zone on it. We find a 50% 618 retracement zone. We call that the sweet spot. We wait for it to hit it and then we take price action entries. That's our setup, right? And it has been, the results are just ridiculous. They're, they're, they're just ridiculous. Okay. So that's our setup. And so, you know, I've, I've personally done some stuff. I've, I've done range fades, you know, I've looked for just strong trends. I've looked for different setups, but I tell you what, this one here, this one here, I'm, pro, I'm, I'm, this one here has stuck. Okay. It has stuck. But the point I really want to get across today is that if you just find one setup and it doesn't have to be my setup, if you just find one setup and master it, take it over and over and over till you get to the level of mastery, then you will be putting yourself in position to make a living. Okay. So for, for example, for the longest wifey would only take a higher low above the EMA, not a, not, not, not a lower high above, under the EMA, a higher low <laughs> above the EMA. That was her setup. That was her go-to trade. You, you kind of see me mention it sometimes. I'm like, oh, this is wifey trade because that's all she took. And she was able to be profitable focusing in on just that one setup. Okay. So you don't need a lot of setups to make it. You just need to figure out the trade that you like, right? Figure out the setup that you like and learn to wait for it because see, she used to have to wait for it though. You know, she, she had to wait for it. She had to be patient and that increased her patience and increased her discipline. And at the end of the day, all you want to do is be profitable, right? So do what you need to do to be profitable. So if you just master one setup, boom, that's all you got to do, right? And so I'll tell you, I had a thought today. Can I be honest? Can I be honest? Anybody still digging honesty out here? I, I will be honest. I am still in awe of how well the sweet spot trade works. Okay. I am still in awe. I'm not surprised. Hear what I'm saying. I'm not surprised because we combined price action and Fibonacci retracement zones. Both of those strategies stand on their own. Both of those strategies are profitable on their own. They stand alone, but I combined them. Okay. And so I'm not surprised this working so well. I'm still in awe that it's working so well. You know, I'm still in awe that people who do have some trading experience can just pick it up in a day and start winning. You know, I'm still a little bit in awe of that. Um, you know, I'm having people, I, the, the, somebody, somebody sent me a message the other day, uh, last Wednesday's video, if you want to check the comments, they said they won 15 trades in a row. My record is 11. Okay. So now, you know, you got something, you know, you teaching when the students start beating your records. Okay. But I ain't even mad at it. I ain't even mad at it. Get your 15 in a row on, you know, 11. Now I got it. Now I got a new goal, right? I got to beat that 15 in a row. I can't be letting students beat me out here. But anyway, so I'm still kind of in awe of how well it's working. So then let's say you're brand new. I mean, I haven't, I know some brand new people probably have just got gotten a course or something, but I haven't had all the, um, testimonials come in yet on brand new people. But what I would say for brand new people is if you, if you recently found this channel, okay. Amongst all these channels out here, cause I don't know what I'm doing with marketing. So my channel ain't, ain't popping like that. You know, I only got 2000 people. It ain't like I got 30,000 subscribers or nothing. Uh, but I'm, I read, I got a book. Y'all know I got a book. I'm gonna get my weight up so more people can find the channel so we can help more people. But until then, for you who watching this video right now, and I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube marketing. Oh, hey, you're not lucky. So don't be writing me talking about, I oh, mean, I'm so lucky I found your channel. No, you're blessed. Okay. If you found this channel <laughs> with what we're teaching right now, you ain't lucky. God wants you to win. Yahoo wants you to be profitable because everybody ain't teaching what we're teaching. Everybody doesn't have this sweet spot trade. Okay. Everybody doesn't understand price action the way we do and the way I teach it. 
and so like i say this is a small channel if you found this channel you were meant to find this channel and i'm happy for you because you know what it took me a decade a decade just to get the right information you found it i don't know how long it took you to find me but you found the right information out the gate if, if let's say you're new to trading you found the right information right out the gate it took me a decade to find it not a decade to learn it to practice it to master it no it took me a decade to find the right information <laughs> just to find it then i had to learn it practice it study it practice it learn it study it practice it learn it study it put it in action okay so i'm just saying you are not lucky blessed if you found this channel and you're brand new to trading uh, that's all i got to say about that but can i be honest let me be honest so i was in a trade today is honesty okay y'all like honesty okay honest moment i was in a trade today and i took the first trade it was a it was a higher low right and i knew what was going to happen like the first candle shot up the next candle came back red at that moment, I was like, if the next candle goes up green, I'm going to win this trade and it's going to make me another higher low so I can go again. I knew what was going to happen because I take this same setup each and every day. Then guess what? That candle broke lower first trapped everybody going short, shot up. I almost closed higher than the one to the left. Another, another higher low entry. You know what I did? I took it, right? <laughs> I took it, bam. So now I'm up on the first trade. I got a good lead. Well, I got a good lead on the first trade, I'm up. And then I just entered another beautiful uh, entry and that the next candle shot up. So I'm up, right? I'm up and I'm headed out the sweet spot with two trades. I know I got two wins in the bag and it, it hit me at that moment. It hit me at that moment. I'm going to help a lot my, in my head, I said thousands and thousands of struggling traders. It hit me at that moment. I mean, I know the sweet spot trade has been helping people. And I know, you know, from the comments, it's all great. But I'll tell you what, we've only been doing the sweet spot trade since December, right? So it's still relatively new, even to me. That's why I'm being honest. It's still kind of new to me. So that's why I'm still in awe. But when I knew what was going to happen next, because I take the same setup all the time, this is lower highs higher lows second entries the uh, rally base rally strike base drop this is basic price action for me when i knew what was going to be happening next and then it just sat there and happened i was just like man i'm going to help so many struggling traders and then that thing was just off to the races so if you just learn one setup and master it you take it every day you take it every day day and you will increase your chances of being able to make a living trading okay trading is not easy i mean trading is not hard wait a minute trading is not easy i don't know i can't get i'm still at all okay trading is not easy but when you get the right information and you're taking the right setups and you apply all the discipline that's the hard the hard part ain't the strategy it's really not i mean we draw a couple lines we wait for prices to get to a box that's the easy stuff, right? The hard part is your discipline. Are you going to not enter candles early? Um, are you going to take your allotted amount of trades per day? The hard part of trading is discipline. You know, the trading psychology is like people like to say, that's the hard part. The hard part is controlling yourself, not being a gambler, you know, not being undisciplined, you know, not being, not, not just taking a shot because you want to, you know, not just taking a trade because you've been having to wait too long and you just anxious, you know. The hard part is you not the market you know what i'm saying once you understand how the market works that's <laughs> once you understand how the market works once you understand the market cycle once you understand the rule of two once you understand price action entries like second entry longs higher lows rally base rallies drop base drops that stuff is easy stuff is actually pretty easy what we do what we do technically is actually pretty easy the hard part is learning how to discipline you <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna be the hard part that every trader has to go through it's just just the way it is but i will say again i'm still in awe of how well this sweet spot trade works but you know what if you found this channel you found it at the man you have found this channel at the right 
time. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know exactly what your needs are. I just know that, man, something special is happening on this channel. Something special is happening with this trade. Something special is happening for people who can see it and picking it up and implementing it. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. And I give you who all the praise. Y'all know, y'all know, because he gave it to me. You know what I mean? I mean, I knew price action. I knew Fibonacci retracement zones. I have forgot about Fibonacci retracement zones. Somebody did a video and asked me to do a, uh, somebody put a comment in and asked me to do a video on Forex. And that made me go back to it. So you guys have helped me. You know what I'm saying? So I've been helping you teach you guys. Person who asked me to look into Forex brought that back to my memory that, oh, you know what? I do got a Forex strategy just sitting on the shelf that I know works. Anywho, but for me to, in my opinion, it was Yahuwah bringing it all together for all of us, right? And I'm just, I'm just giving out the knowledge and the information that he gave me. Just, I'm just sharing the strategy, you know, as it was given to me and it's blessed. It's blessed. So, hey, that's my spiel for today. I'm still in awe, you know, and we're going to ride this train all year long. Increase on the Sutton. Increase on the Sutton increase on the Sutton in 2024 by mastering the sweet spot trade setup. All right. So this is a great time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you guys. Of course, I have a wonderful trade um, work study lesson. Let's, let's put the work study in. Please and make sure you're practicing people. See, I practice every day because I make these work study lessons for you guys. You have to mark up charts. If you want to get better at trading, if you want to be able to see price action entries before they come know they're coming you have to mark up charts that's the practice marking up charts is how you practice let me say that again marking up charts is how you practice the real work is done in practice not during game time trading doesn't teach you anything Marking up charts, saying like, okay, here, but this was a higher low. Oh, there was a lower high. Oh, I should have took that. Oh, look at that central candle. It was better than I thought. That's when you learn after in practice, when you're marking up charts, that's where you get better at. Okay. Then when it's game time, doing whatever trading hours you trade at, you'll start to perform better. Make sure you guys are practicing. Mark up your charts. All right. A little tidbit for you. So let's get into our work study lesson. And then please stay all the way to the end. Of course, I have a wonderful trade example for you today all right let's roll it hey guys how's it going jd here so in this work study lesson we'll be looking at american express and uh we have our pattern starting from the bottom here we got a beautiful trend up so you draw the fear from the bottom here to the top here then we have our then coming back the other way we got a trend down trend break retest down the new low this market cycle is over that's pretty much perfect price action only problem is it overshot the sweet spot. So this is kind of one of those else's that turns into a then, but it wasn't a clear else. So this one, this one is just about if you kept watching. So first you gotta, the rules save you. Let me say that. Um, you actually can get out of here without losing if you follow all the rules. So starting from this first let's just say you was watching as it entered here you know you got to drop here drop here drop here you broke out the sweet spot so you got to be careful now this candle would have been very very tempting um because it came right back into the sweet spot it's sitting right at the 618 you know it's kind of a matching stems but it's matching stems top and bottom and for me it left too much stem so I would have survived this because it just it left too much stem. Um, I would have been I would have been ready to go finger on the trigger, but with that much stem and it matching stems like that. Now if it had a broke higher and cleared here, I would have went, but it didn't. So I don't take this, but I could see a lot of people taking this and getting trapped. Um, you actually win though if you took this one, two, three, four, five. You actually win. Go figure. I'm not gonna mark it though because I wouldn't have taken it. But you actually win there. But the better entry is here. You get this low, broke down, warning shot, don't go short. Broke down, warning shot, don't go short. Broke down, warning shot, don't go short. And then it turns all the way back up into a huge candle and closes back in the sweet spot. This is where I would where I would start. This 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 one, 
This candle here is humongous. It's bigger than one, two, three, four. It's bigger than all of those to the left. This lets me know that big money just came back into the market and now we should start this trend up here. So that's where my first goal would be. And then you start rocking from there. You get a low push up, higher low. Same deal on this one though. I'm a market. I got a market blue, I'll be honest. It's a beautiful candle. It's a higher low. Excuse me, let me take that back. It's a higher low. It's right off of the golden ratio. For those reasons, I like it, but it left too much still, to be honest with you. Um, next one did the same thing. You kind of got matching bottoms. It's really not even a higher low. And unless you go from here, say low here, higher low. Same deal. It left too much still, but it would have worked also. So, you know, this was, I guess I might as well mark this one too, since I'm marking stems, because that, that would have worked too. <laughs> so not great entries. I mean, excuse me, not great signal candles. You got a lot of STEMI signal candles here, uh, but they all would have worked. I right, know that one would have worked here. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute. Do this one work? One, two, three, four, five. This one does not work. I gotta go back. I'm messing all up here. So, excuse me, sorry. Let's start that over. If you go here, you win. If you take the better candle that I like, you actually lose on this big boy right here. And that happens. One, two, three, four. You was up good. Last candle came back and got you. It happens. Um, but if you had to take in this one, one, two, three, four, five. Man, you that one is questionable. I don't, that one is questionable. I don't know if you it look you might win that one. You you might skate on that one. Let me let me look here. See, and that's the problem with bad signal candles. I think you make it on that. I think you make it on that. It all depends on like if this candle broke down first, which it probably did, you probably got a pretty good entry. So make it blue for sure. You probably get that one, but it's too close to call. Okay, but then you finally get a decent signal. You finally get a decent one here that, that does win clearly. But again, too much stem, but you know, I think I actually took this one because it was good. Uh, I mean, it pulled back at the last second. I was kind of hitting the button when it pulled back. Um, and that's a clear win though. One, two, three, four, five. And then you get a better low high low above the ema that's why if you trade textbook you take that one right there boom this one has them but the body is higher though so i like that one's okay and you off to the races all right you off to the races but then when you see this big old pull back here this big nearly turned into a falling hammer you gotta you gotta pump the brakes and then this monster here man you almost gotta consider this being you really gotta consider if this is gonna make a leg at this distance because see this leg here was small i like my two legs back to be about the same distance so when i saw this big candle i'll tell you i got pretty weary because um it could have been making another leg like this this could be a trend down trend break retest to a new low so we could have been trying to make another leg like this because i do not like when my two legs back aren't the same length you know these and these ain't even close to being the same length so i was patient because it was to me it was dangerous in here when i got this big candle back that's kind of that's a danger sign there but we hit a bottom you know and when when we couldn't make the new low whenever the market tries to do something twice it came down pushed up came down a second time and he couldn't even get to this new low it's normally gonna go the other way real strong and so it did so you can go right here to kick things off. Um, to get his trade a name would be hard. <laughs> you kind of call it from here. You can call it the first entry, push down second entry long, but that's kind of a tough call. I didn't go here. I was ready to go here, but again, too much still. I, I don't know what was going on today. Every signal candle had too much still. So I didn't like this one, but it clearly worked. And then you get the low push up higher low. You get wifey's trade again above the EMA. I didn't take this one because it meant too much still. I don't know what was going on today. All right. But then you get a 
pretty nice boy here. Low, push up, higher low. Nice signal candle. But that's way more than the three quarter close, even though it left some stem. But hey, at this point, I was kind of getting the picture that it, it don't worry about stems. Don't worry about stems today. Um, so I went here. One, two, three, four, five, right? But then you got this. So it broke here. So hit this target. So we had a new high, right? You still got a target of here and here. But you got to be patient because when it starts to pull back all the way to the EMA, I saw this little rejection here. I wanted to go here, but that's a first entry, right? That would have been breaking a rule. I don't take first entries. I wait for second entries. Then I seen this monster here, very tempting to go. Very tempted to go, but that's a first entry, but it actually would have worked. One, two, three, four, five. It would have worked, um, but I don't take first entries. I wait for second entries. But so I waited and pushed up, start from the top, push up first entry, push up second entry. So I took the second entry long right here. Okay. Now, when this candle shot out, broke on here, I was like, oh, went in the bag. When it's not in the bag, look at this candle came all the way back. I'm down. This candle came all the way down. I'm down a grip. And I've done everything right. I was patient. I took a second entry long off the EMA. I'm thinking like, wow, that's too bad because I skipped this one here. I skipped this one here. You know, so I'm like, man, might have blew it. But doing things the right way sometimes, not doing things the right way pays off, not just sometimes. So I entered right here and I saw this. We got the rejection I needed on this candle. Gave us a shot. Then this candle hammered up. Now we really got a shot. So it came down to the final candle because one, two, wait a minute, I entered here. One, two, three, four, came down to the final candle. Bam, five, come back, win, finish off the day, did everything the right way. There you go. Doing everything the right way, pays off, ended up saving the day. I, I waited for the first entry, pushed down, second entry long, that worked. Now, this one would have worked actually a lot a lot easier <laughs> well no they both they both really came down to no 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 this one would have been even worse one two three four yeah this one had been even worse i really had to come back that's why i don't take first entries at least with this one i knew i had a shot at it going into the final candle um so stick to the rules so today was a little stemmy you know basically every signal candle had a stem the best signal candle of the day lost go figure right so what you want to do Here's the lesson of the day. If the candle closes, look at the complete size of the bar. If three quarters of it is going in your direction, you can take it. So all of these were candles that you could take because that's three quarters, that's three quarters, that's three quarters, this three quarters, this three quarters. This one is a little suspect. Yeah, I think it's three quarters. It's a little, a little shaky. This is a good signal candle. This is a good signal candle. So that's the lesson, you know, if it's uh, if it's three quarters or better, you can take that signal candle. But personally, I don't like stems, but you take, you know, sometimes you got to take what the market gives you because you would have passed up on a whole bunch of wins um, if you don't go on this one. OK, so three quarters, three quarter bar. You're good. All right. So that'll be the work study lesson for today. I really appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. Please continue to comment and let me know how the sweet spot trade is going for you. You know, um, so uh, I made it out of this uh, today. Let's say I followed every rule. In the comments today, let's put rules equals profits. All right. Rules equals profits. When you follow the rules, you will profit. All right. So let's get into the uh, trade example. It should be a pretty good one today. I really appreciate you guys. Let's roll it. That's how it's going, JD here. Trying to see what we got. Might have something right here. We do. Coming right off 618. We got a low push up, higher low. Go time. 92% locked and loaded. Closing top. 
We'll take it. Let's make the let's make the sweet spot. That entry was right off the six one eight. Go to ratio. We have a beautiful trend up, turn down, turn break, retest right into the golden ratio. Perfect price action. All right, maybe getting a another push up is rally base for rally. Hit a bottle. We did make the low. Yeah, turned out retest attempt did not work. And this had to be an extremely big candle. Back in again now. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, too much pressure. Didn't make it in. So it's this him. I can wait for this to get back above the EMA. Prove yourself. So by the way here, one, two, three, this would be kind of four. Now we got a low push up, higher low above the EMA. Targets of here, here, and here. Now we looking good. Now we got a setup with a huge setup kind of. All right, here we go. Here we go. entry push down second entry long
we get a first century push down second century. Oh, you are right here, you be down. <coughs> this is a classic push down first century, push down second century long. Classic. This MA holds. Short. Still targets have targets are here, here, and here. Beautiful. Second entry long. Rejection, 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 push up, push up, push up, push up, push up, push up. <sighs> push up, give us a chance, push up, give us a chance, give us a chance, push up. Chance, give us a chance, give us a chance, closing your top, push up. Final minute, push up. Thanks again for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed that, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you need to learn more price action trading, watch this video right here. My name is JD and as always, I wish you increase on the sudden. Bye-bye.